Hey, hello. Welcome to another edition of 10 Minutes with Todd at Beyond 615. He's blending in, but Chester's here. I think a dog makes uh, Instagram Live even better. We'll see how long this lasts. The key is I really don't want him out there barking when people walk by walking their dogs because he thinks he needs to bark incessantly. Anyway, uh, hey, so much of Christian music is written, produced, mixed, sung in the 615, which is the area code for Nashville, Tennessee. So this is about celebrating someone in the Christian music industry space, but we only have 10 minutes to do it. Sometimes I fudge a little. This is episode 13, and today's guest is Black River Artist with her current song, Same God, you might hear playing in the background. Her name is Hannah Kerr, and she's about to join. Hello! Hey! Long Good time no see. see. I know, it feels like it's been forever. I know. And we probably like live, I don't know, 20 minutes from each other or something, but. Probably, I live with my parents right now, so. <laughs> I, heard, I saw that on your Instagram story. You guys are waiting for transition into a house or something? Yes, we have put in 20 offers on houses and we haven't been able to get one yet. So That's we're just crazy. <laughs> so we're just living with mom and dad until we can get a house. But it's been good to be here. I mean, yeah. we love That's the market in this area for sure. Okay, yeah. we're going to talk. We got 10 minutes. I'm going to set the timer on my watch, okay? Okay. Set timer for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes and counting. <laughs> I use the Australian accent voice. I love um, it. It is what it is. Okay, so for those who don't know you, share about growing up in the Buffalo, New York area. Yeah, so I grew up in Buffalo. It's very snowy up there. We have the lake effect snow that hits us every winter, and it is crazy. We used to build snow tunnels. It's a thing. Um, yep. I grew up near all of my cousins, grandparents, aunts and uncles, so I had so much family time um, growing up. So it was such sweet memories being there, and then we moved to Nashville when I was 13. So, yeah, Buffalo is just snow, good food, and family. <laughs> There was an industry event, I don't know, it was before COVID, uh, in November in Buffalo, but we got to go to your home church and you sang and you sang some new songs and yeah. uh, Jim Kelly's wife, Jill, was there and spoke and uh, the radio station up there, Therese Maine and, and Family Life up there. Just I, I got to experience downtown Buffalo and Buffalo and I was like, uh, I don't know if I'd like to live here, but I get why people call it home and stay. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty great place. I still do feel a little bit like it's home. Like every time I go back, I'm like, it feels like home. But yeah. I love Nashville too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, you have love for Buffalo sports. Are you a big Bills fan at all? I mean, you have to be. It's like, you know, being in the Kerr family, there's like three things that you have to love. Jesus, music, and the Buffalo Bills. So it's just like. <laughs> Growing up, it was like if there was a Bills game on TV, we watched it, and still to this day, especially living with my parents, if we still live here when football season rolls around, we will be watching it every Sunday. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Um, so the Buffalo Stadium is like out in the middle of nowhere, which I didn't realize. That was kind of cool to experience that a couple of years ago, too. You ever been to a game? Yes, I have been to a few games. Um, also, my grandparents live like literally a mile from the stadium so i yeah. grew up passing it anytime i'd go to their house but yeah it's good stuff someone just said i love your song warrior oh uh, thank you yeah i love it too that grit in your voice oh <laughs> be a warrior you just thank reach you. down there and belt it out i love that so <laughs> at what age did you Call it. kind of begin singing and knowing you really love to do that I feel like I've always loved to sing. Yes. Did you ask when I started oh. loving singing? My dad. Yeah, called. yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, I started loving singing pretty much, I mean, from the time I was born. Like, my parents have videos of me singing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star um, at, like, age two. <laughs> so I've always sung. Um, I feel like 
my favorite like season of my life falling in love with singing was in middle school when I started leading worship at my church um, and playing guitar in my room, like learning how to play Taylor Swift and Francesca Battistelli and Bethany Dillon, um, just like sitting in my bedroom at home. Um, so I feel like leading worship at church was really where I started like loving singing and realizing that it's something that I wanted to do. Um, but I've always sung. That's just like the only thing I've ever been good at. So <laughs> Oh, well, you are very good at it. And I feel like you're going to have to post the picture of you singing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star here on Instagram. I will. I'll do it right after this. <laughs> I okay. have. Yeah. Um, so I recently saw you were celebrating getting uh, wedding photos back. You've been married now for a year-ish? A year and two months, I think. Yeah. So any marriage advice for the rest of us? Oh, yeah. I'm an expert on marriage now, so... <laughs> No, I think if there's one thing that I've learned this year, I think probably the biggest thing is to marry your best friend. Like, truly, life is going to be hard. We're going to go through seasons that are difficult. It's not always going to be amazing. But if you're doing life with your best friend, then everything is so much better. Like, I can honestly say after spending 13 months in quarantine with Jason that I still like him so much. <laughs> and like, I just laugh with him more than anybody else. And yeah. he's just my best friend in the world. So um, I feel like yeah, any advice for anybody out there is just marry your best friend. It's so it's so worth it waiting for the one that is just right for you and your best friend because life is so much better with that person. So true. And as your parents will probably tell you, have already said to you, and if you are around grandparents or whatever, yeah. your, lo your love changes as you grow older. It, it becomes yeah. less about, you know, looks and it becomes more deeper. And um, it's yeah. just weird to go through that transition. I've, I've been married only 26 years this year. And it's just like, so it's so weird to grow old with this person. You can, almost can't describe it. it yeah. yeah. That's so cool. I saw a post yesterday that said, like, the best marriage advice is to love the person that your spouse is today. Like, you're going to go through seasons and change, and you're going to grow older, and your bodies are going to get older and whatever, but you just have to love the person that you're married to today, whether that person is changing, evolving, growing, like, whatever it is. You just grow in love together, which I thought was so sweet. So I'll be keeping that in mind for the next you know, 70 years. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Okay, so your new song, Same God, it's everywhere where you can stream. It's popping yeah. up on Christian radio all over all over America. And for those who don't know the story behind the song, just share that. Yeah, so Same God is really special to me. Um, we wrote it over Zoom, actually, in November of this past year. And I wrote it with my friends Hunter and Emma. Um, and we came into that session and just said, let's write a song about what we're going through today and all three of us were kind of in a season of change of just a lot in our lives had changed for me I had gotten married I had become an aunt um, the music industry shut down like it was just everything had changed really fast and I feel like in those seasons the thing that gives me the most comfort is knowing that God is constant that he's the same um, so even when I feel lost or lonely or like I don't belong, um, I know that God loves me exactly as I am and exactly where I am. Um, and so this song is for anyone who feels that way. And it's been so sweet to see the messages that I've gotten and the people that have covered the song and shared their stories about how God loves them exactly as they are, where they are, and how they're seeing that um, in, in their lives. And so it's been so sweet and I'm just really thankful to have a song that is so personal and just comes from my heart um, to be able to share with people. So, yeah, I'm excited about it. It's just like something that really means a lot to me. Well, it's an, it's an amazing song. And you did a new acoustic version. Is there a new YouTube video of that? Yes. So my brother, Josh, actually produced the song. Um, and so we got together and did like a video where he's playing piano and I'm singing. And there's something about that version that I love so much because it's very just stripped down and raw. Um, it kind of captures how the song felt when we first wrote it um, and kind of the way that it was for months before we had a produced version. You know, that's yeah. how I do it. And 
Um, I love that. We didn't make it perfect. Like there's little imperfections in my performance and all that. But I love that because that's just how I feel singing the song. Like it's just a representation of me singing the song. So, um, yeah, I love it. And I love that Josh is in the video because it was really cool getting to do it with him and the fact that he produced it. Like he's just so talented. So, yeah, it was really fun. That is so cool. Well, um, you might be my first guest that we got done before 10 minutes. How much time is left? I, it's got to be seconds. <laughs> seconds. It's got to be seconds. So I'm going to ask you a pop-up question, okay? Okay. I mean, being a Buffalo Bills fan, you, you, should, you should know this. Oh, no. Do not test my knowledge. <laughs> so rabid Buffalo Bills fans who travel to go watch the Bills in other places mm -hmm. or at home are called what? Bills Mafia. That's right. See? And, woo! <laughs> Bills Mafia is crazy. People in Buffalo, like, we don't have much besides sports, so we just really go crazy with our fandom. It's, it's amazing. There's, like, a video that went viral of somebody, like, breaking a table last year because they were so excited. I was like... I mean, I'm not that intense, but... <laughs> yeah. Is that like they jumped on it or something? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's... I think I saw that too. Yeah, that's yeah. just what I'm looking for, I guess, just being crazy. <laughs> and it's been so long since the Buffalo Bills had, like, you know, gone to the four, four Super Bowls in the early 90s that, the you know, they're kind of back and there's excitement in the town and they've got a great team. And so yeah. it's, kind of, it's kind of fun to be a Bills fan again. I'm from near Cleveland, so it's kind of fun to cool. be a Browns fan for... yeah. 30 years, you know? After turning. <laughs> Gosh, I was like, am I going to die before they make the playoffs again? Oh my goodness, that's so <laughs> Also, I have to say that usually I'm really long-winded, but I knew we had 10 minutes, so I said, <laughs> I'm going to keep my answers short and sweet. I do not want to make Todd just be like, okay, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> I never do that. And you know, I've gone over some time. Here we go. It's, it's turning off now. Time is up. But, uh, you know, we've gone over uh, a couple of other times. It just depends. It depends on the night. depends how we're all feeling. But thank you. Less is more, right? People are – here's what I learned from you tonight. Less is more, and people are starving for authenticity. So why not give them something that's not perfect? Mm. Hey, that's good. I'm – you're teaching me that, too. That's good. That's awesome. So, well, thank you, Todd, so much for having me. Honestly, it's so good to see your face. It has yeah. been – so – it's good to see you. Thank you for taking the time to do this. I wish you well with uh, Same God. If you haven't seen the acoustic video for those who are going to watch this or watching this, man, go check it out on YouTube. It's Hannah and her brother, Josh. It's, it's a great video. So Thank go check you. it out. All right. Yes. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. We'll talk okay. soon. Okay. Okay. Bye. See ya.